Here everyone, so the first thing we're going to do is apply a very bright sort of yellowy green to the inner corner of the eye. And we're going to do the same thing also on the sort of upper corner of the eye near the tear duct area. The next thing is I'm taking carbon eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the lower lash line and it's going to sort of meet and greet the sort of yellowy green. And I'm actually using a 214 brush for this. And next I'm taking a 217 and black carbon MAC eyeshadow and just blending it on the outer corner of the eye to begin with. And I really want to sort of bring the color up and out. And then just really lightly dusting it over the eyelid and just up into the crease as well. And you want this to be more subtle. The darkest color should be on the outside corner of the eye. Now I'm going to line my eyes with a black eyeliner pencil and this is by MAC and I'm going right the way in to the inner corner. Really smudge it and make it greasy and then do the same thing on your upper eyelid as well. Don't worry if it's not precise, you want this look to be slightly messy. Next just apply some black mascara to the upper eyelashes. So next I'm applying foundation and this is Studio Stick and it is in NW20 and I'm applying this to the sort of inside area of my eyes and sort of just the inside perimeter of the face basically. <clears throat> and I'm going to go over with a slightly darker version around the outside perimeter which will be NW35. And that's because in the photograph, as with most photographs, the center of the face is the lightest. I'm next going to go in with a contouring powder and this is by MAC and it's Sculpt and I'm applying it to the outside perimeter of the face with an Alamasca buffing brush. And I'm blending it right the way down. Now I'm applying a tiny little bit of blush and this is just a combination of shades of peaches and a little bit of red in there. So I just sort of dipped it in my palette and then kind of put it on the cheekbone area of the face. Now next I am going to take a product called Water Makeup Pure which is by uh, Grimace and I'm applying that along the area of my beard because even though the album cover doesn't have any stubble on I just think it looks really sort of scruffy and messy when you've got this really dark eye going on I think it's a little bit sexy to have a sort of grubby looking beard going on and that completes the look and thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time thank you